Hi everyone, welcome to part 12 of uh, Vendor Risk Management video series. Uh, my name is Anil. In this video, we'll talk about workspace configuration. So to navigate to workspace, we go to Vendor Risk and look for Vendor Management Workspace. So if you see here, uh, you have all these UI elements as part of the workspace. Like for example, total vendors, total engagements, and breakdown based on the vendor tier. For example, if it's a very high or uh, very low, uh, yeah, it's based on risk rating. You see, it is uh, it is identified. Like for example, uh, if it's low, then you'll see that the risk rating will be low for that vendor, and so on. So so depending on the risk rating, we have uh, we are displaying the vendors here, and similarly for engagements also, depending on the risk rating of the engagement, they are displayed on the uh, home page, right? Now, if you are wondering how is this configured, uh, there is a module called UI Builder. So if you open that, it's under No Experience Framework. So here you need to wait for it to load and then you can search for vendor management workspace. Then it opens up a UI builder page like this. Now you can change the application scope to GRC. Vendor. Vendor management workspace so that you are in the right scope of this uh, page or this uh, UI, yeah, of this workspace. Now, if you see here, uh, this is the page that we have seen right here. and this is the page we have seen and now this is the uh, the UI builder component of it as you can see 87 87 and if you click on that you can see what is the UI component which is there it is a data visualization type of single score and data sources company and there's a count on the company which is used to populate this and similarly if you look at this here single score uh, but in this case, it is based on the risk rating, as we have seen. So if you click medium, then you will see that the risk rating, uh, you will see all the vendors with that risk rating, which is moderate. I mean, this is a little slightly confusing because you're seeing medium there, but it is moderate in the back end. But uh, yeah, this is the risk rating for that, uh, uh, for those vendors. And same applies to engagements. So if you go to medium engagements, you'll see that the risk rating for those is uh, moderate. Right? Uh, so coming back, coming back to the UI builder, you can see that this is one type of uh, UI elements, single score. Now you'll also see that there is a risk rating by vendor tier where we have data visualization. So here, uh, there's a group by done on vendor tier and risk rating. So that's what we are seeing here. Uh, there's a group by on risk rating and vendor tiers. Uh, risk rating by, yeah. So if you see vendor tiers is here and risk rating is here. Now we have very high, high, moderate, very low and very low as vendor tiers. And then similarly, you can see that uh, this is the count of vendors based on risk rating, right? So it is configured here as a vertical data visualization. Uh, and uh, then there is this group by one vendor tier and uh, risk rating. 
you see the x-axis and y-axis, you can see that on y-axis, vendor count of risk rating, and on x-axis, you see vendor tiers, right? So which means all these are vendor tiers, and these are the count for vendor tiers. Similarly, the next one, top risk areas. If you see here, it's a vertical bar. And again, a trick definition is risk rating numeric value. Uh, and let's look at the presentation. You will see that on x-axis, risk areas. On y-axis, average risk score. So you can see that here. These are all the risk areas and this is average risk score. So that is that. Uh, if you, you can drill down from here as well. So scoring method is average risk and risk rating is this. If you go back here, you'll see that vendor risk area rating, risk rating numeric value, and then this is averaged. So all this means is uh, this risk rating has a numeric value to it. So if you go to choice and then if you select three hyphen moderate, for example, and Let's see if it is rating. Okay, it's not. So if you see here for this label as three, if I moderate, the value is three. So this is what will be used to calculate the the average of this uh, risk, which will be used to present this, uh, uh, which will be used to present this count here. So you can see here, there are 76.67. Uh, and if you drill down, you'll see that if you add all of this, that should give you that. Uh, let's open one of them. So risk rating is very high. And these are the third party providers which give different ratings. Like for example, which side has 793, eco wireless has 68, interiors has 77, interiors has 88 as well. Uh, and scoring rule for this is a strategic partner rule, which tells us that uh, uh, so yeah it applies to all window criteria and then uh, yeah view and then you see that the filter matches certain records so so basically that is how this is derived and then accordingly that is here it is displayed, right? So it's a risk rating value, uh, numeric value, and then what is being averaged. So that's the first section here. And then we have this issues by priority, and then fourth party overview and so on. So let's check that. Scroll down. If you will go to this issues by priority. Uh, okay, we have covered the next series. Okay, it is not. Okay, this data visualization, which is issues by priority. And you can see that it's uh, it's a donut, right? Yeah. And if you see, it is 
and the risk issue is the table count group by on the priority so that's how this is derived so basically i mean you can see that the home page is highly configurable uh, depending on how what information you want to present here you can uh, add those ui components using the ui builder right we'll just see one last one and then we'll move on so we talked about this talked about this yeah i think this is just in this issues by priority it is also displaying the uh, the information so let's go here it's also showing those uh, list simple list of them so yeah that is that uh, so basically if you see here there are two components in the container one is data visualization which we have seen which is donut and then you're also seeing a simple list which shows vendor risk issues and then it is searching for the highlighted them oh sorry yeah and then it is also showing like The list of issues it's a simple list basically you can see all of them if you want but it is not dependent on this uh donut so if you want to drill down from the donut you can do it by clicking on this like this and the priority look is you can see the priority is low and these are all the vri vendor risk issues so this is about uh vendor risk management uh workspace and you also have this quick actions like create vendor, create engagement, tearing assessment, assessment, create issue and risk. Now we'll also look at vendor risk overview. It's a dashboard. This is a performance analytics dashboard. And we'll switch our application scope to GRC, vendor risk management. So that we can try to understand a little more now if you see here this also opens up in this uh, this uh, yeah if you see the view it's coming up like this uh, so it is slightly different from what we have seen like here so if you see here so this is a pa dashboard view uh, and here it is, it's coming up inside this Polaris thing, right? Uh, so yeah. Now, if you try to modify this, so you can see that we have total vendors uh, open tearing. Basically, these are all scorecards, right? Oops. And then vendor classification by tier. So you have all this vendor classifications. Uh, so and then vendor performing risk assessment based on tiering so vendor tier uh, and then an account so very high and moderate so this shows the vendors who are performing risk assessment right now and then open issues by priority vendors by risk rating so this is by tier and this is by risk rating uh, it also has very high to very low even the risk rating is also the tier is also very high to very low and then we have upcoming vendor risk assessments with estimated start date and uh, so we can see what this one has uh, what kind of uh, widget that is so let's open that i mean the rest of them are pretty straightforward they are all like reports but this one looks slightly different so let's understand that a little more okay this is a report as well so let's see the type so it's a report of time time series okay that's a time series report which is looking at table is that vendor risk assessment table and it is displaying the
plan start date okay that makes sense so basically on a given plan start date is it is showing the count of assessments that is what this report is so this is on vendor risk assessment table so we can look at other reports in the platform and to which table they belong right so for example if you see uh, this should be on vendor table they should be on uh, vendor risk assessment so there is a table called vendors performing tearing assessment vendor underscore tearing underscore reports underscore vt underscore view wow okay so that's a table and then this yeah, and this table is uh, used for this if i go back tearing recommendations let's look at that so if you see here this one is on again the same thing vendor tearing reports er review so that is that and vendor classification this should be on the company table Core underscore company under is equal to true and group by one under tier. So similarly, there are a lot of other tables also on which these reports are created. So yeah. So you can just look one more and we are good. Right. So this is issues. This should be V R I under risk issues table. So which is SN underscore V D R underscore risk underscore A something underscore issue. Okay. So that is how uh, uh, like the dashboard is configured, which is a PA dashboard, and then the uh, vendor management workspace is configured using the UI builder. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Anil.